Hi, my name is Eva Dienel and I'm here with the, at the BSR Conference 2015 where we're exploring the theme of resilient business, resilient world. I'm here now with the UC Professor of Public Policy at the University of California at Berkeley, Robert Reich. Thank you for joining us. I'm delighted. And our first question for you, and again, we're um, talking about resilience here at the BSR Conference. So the first question for you is how you have looked at resilience through your work over the years. Uh, for many years, Eva, I was uh, involved in workforce change. Uh, as Secretary of Labor, for example, under the uh, Clinton administration, uh, the big issue was uh, the, the realization gradually dawning in the 1990s that most workers who were laid off from their jobs would not get their old jobs back again. This was really something new in the 1990s. The old unemployment system assumed that it was recessions where workers were laid off and they would go back. Uh, and in the 1990s, that all changed. So in terms of resilience, the question was, what do you need as a worker to be resilient, given that you are probably going to be laid off and may be laid off again and may be laid off again, and you're never gonna get the old job back, probably. Uh, that meant that uh, we had to change the unemployment system entirely to make it a re-employment system. So when you lost your job and right when you got your first unemployment check or even before then you were interviewed and there was a determination made as to whether you were in need of additional skills, whether you needed job counseling, job search assistance, um, and we created a national system. Uh, where none had been before that would give workers the resilience they needed to change uh, Because change requires a lot of work. That's true. That's true. And that's um, that's a very good point because a lot of what is um, What goes into effect with the resilience is whether you have the system available and the policies in place which takes leadership So the next question that we have is about um, leadership. What to you does it take to be a resilient leader? You know, looking, for, looking forward to the election year next year, what does resi resilient leadership look like? Well, resilient leadership is number one about um, expecting failure hmm. and uh, understanding that it is really the ability to recover from failure and learn from failure that's the most important aspect of a successful career or a successful leader in terms of your leadership over a group of people. It's easy to lead people when they're successful. Uh, it's harder when they run into walls um, and you've got to enable them to avoid denial, which is one of the real, real problems when groups get into trouble, uh, avoid scapegoating, uh, avoid escapism, and also avoid cynicism. And a leader that is thinking about resilience is thinking about how do I help this group deal with failure and learn from that failure. Well, we appreciate your time, Professor Reich. This has been a very insightful conversation, and I look forward to hearing your address at the BSR Conference 2015. Thank well, you. Well, thank you, Eva.